Welcome everybody. I'm back out with another video. Let's get into it. Let's see. We're going to do a general energy read. So this is going to be for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If it does resonate, all the better, guys. Be sure to like the video um, and share the video as well as comment below, all right? So for everyone who has um, booked the personal reading with me, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, um, as well as those who have um, purchased from the website as well. I'm thinking about doing a raffle for those who have um, shopped with me or who has purchased a reading with me. I think I'm going to do a raffle. Um, that'll be coming up soon where I give away a free reading, okay? But that'll be coming up soon. Let's jump into the reading, all right? So, I feel like somebody just got caught in a lie. They left without doing something. They left without doing something. Like, they, I'm getting like somebody definitely got caught. You caught somebody in a lie. Could be a cancer. Um, this is someone that you care about. You have feelings for. You love this person. You and this person are very close. Y'all close. But I feel like somebody is really strict. Okay, I'm getting like real strict rules. This person could feel like you're really strict. Um, but you caught them in some type of lie, okay? You caught them in some type of lie. Yeah, King of Swords, very straight. I'm, I'm talking about really real deal play by the rules, strictly by the book. Do it this way, my way, or the highway type of energy. All right, what else? Somebody took something too far. I'm seeing that as well, too. Um, I'm getting picking up Leo. We got the Queen of Wands and the Strength here. I'm also picking up Aquarius. I'm getting that somebody is continuing. We got the Devil here too. Could be Capricorn energy, but something here is is screaming toxicity. Okay, I feel like maybe you have been um, trying to catch this person. You want to believe this person. That's the thing about it. You want to believe this person. But this person keeps breaking up with you or keeps cheating, keeps putting you in third-party situations, keep putting you in situations that you have to heal from. Okay, so you're having to be strong, having to um, endure the situation. I'm seeing a lot of back and forth, okay? Like, checking in. Yeah, like, okay. Maybe some of y'all in between work, you go and check in with this person. Because I'm getting, like, you could be busy doing something. I see three of pentacles. You could be at work. But right in the middle of that is just, like, this back and forth energy. And this four of wands is kind of giving me, like, home. So this is work and this is home. Knight of Wands in between that is kind of like you're going back and forth to try to see if you can catch this person in the lie. You're trying to see if this person is lying. You're trying to check in with this person to see what's going on. Yes, Eight of Pentacles. Yes. Yeah, because you're trying to keep this, you're trying to keep this situation peaceful. It's been real toxic lately. And you're trying to keep the situation peaceful. You really just want this person to just come out and tell the truth. But instead, I feel like you've been having to investigate and been finding out things about this person's past. And you feel like this person could have just gave you a heads up. Like, give me a heads up. Tell me what you could have told me. You could tell me this because now you got me out here looking crazy. Six of Wands, but it's in the reverse. You don't feel like you're going to be, this situation is bringing you any type of success. 
and you feel like they're secrets. You feel like this person has other options. And I feel like some of y'all have seen this. Okay, you've seen it in this person's phone. I feel like things that you've seen has really shaking, shaking you to the core, okay? You just kind of like waiting on the right moment to bring this up. Everything that you found, I feel like maybe you brought some things up, but you didn't bring up every single thing that you found out, okay? So, I want to see why this Seven of Swords is here. I feel like maybe you feel like things have gone too far. And you're in love with this person, but it's hard. It's, it's difficult to be with them because this person lies and apologizes for it. they always messing up and apologizing for it. I'm hearing not man enough has lack of self-control and you're seeing all the red flags page of swords and the knight of swords you're seeing that this person's behavior is something fishy about their behavior it's something that's not right about this person's behavior I'm getting like maybe you feel like this person did not completely close a chapter okay because we got the chariot and the world which is moving on closing the chapter but that six of pentacles is kind of giving me like are you sure are you going back and forth are you done or are you or are you not this could be a Capricorn. But yeah, see, I said it's it's a lot of uncertainty. Like, unsure about their final decision. Okay? You're starting to realize some things about this person's past. Why is the lovers here? The Hierophant, yeah. This is someone that you love... You want to be with. You want a new beginning with. You want a new start with this person. But it's difficult. Look at this. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Y'all both are mirroring each other's energy. Y'all both are hard on each other. There is a third party. We got the Strength and the Queen of Cups here. So Leo and Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, I'm getting third-party energy. Somebody's making somebody real curious, um, trying to find out if something is true or not. I I'm just getting somebody, you could be trying to find out if something is true or not about a third party. I feel like there is a third party involved in this situation. Somebody, you've seen too much. <laughs> you've seen this person has shown you a lot. Um, and you, you feel overwhelmed by the connection. You feel overwhelmed. feel like also there's a connection here that somebody this masculine did not tell you that they was already in a connection this masculine is already was already in a connection before dealing or coming around to you i'm hearing thought you said you was gonna wait to come back at first it seemed like you was you you was unsure about it and then you didn't have plans you didn't have any plans on coming 
But then out of the blue, you said that you just popped up out of nowhere. Oh, wow. Now the Four of Wands is here. Two of Swords. This person is in no rush to make no final decision because this person got plenty of other options, okay? They got plenty of other options. They have someone else that they can fall back on and run back to. Soon as there's an argument. And they're saying, look, I tried to stop it. I tried to stop it before taking this leap of faith with this third party. But they're saying that they couldn't stop it. They didn't know how to. They didn't know how to stop the connection. Because it was going to start an argument. It was going to start this big ass argument. If they were to stop what they had going on with someone else. And then come and put you in, in on it too. So they didn't completely tell you what they had going on. That they were juggling. I feel like also this forced this is going to force you to make some changes when dealing with this person. They were scared to tell you. They were scared to tell you this this person, this masculine was already in the connection. They was just hoping you would talk shit about it and just move on, get over it. Um, while they go off and be in this relationship. I'm hearing they didn't have no other they didn't have no choice at the time because they didn't have any money and they their juggling scheme backfired on them big time. Um so they thought that you was just gonna talk this shit and get over it. But they definitely did. They got a queen of wands. They got a queen of wands as a secret that they're keeping this secret from. Two of Pentacles, I told you. They were juggling. They got plenty of options. Seven of Cups. They got plenty of options. King of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Oh, definitely spying. They spying on you. Okay. They're spying on you trying to gather some type of information. They're trying to see, like, how the wheels is turning. Is, is, is it going good for you? Is it going bad for you? I'm hearing only time to tell. But I'm hearing when you got a good woman on your side, stuff always seem to fall apart. But they had to tell a bunch of people that they were in a relationship. And then he, they, this masculine knew that it was going to start a fire. So they just decided to just go ahead and, you know, try to make some type of quick move. But they did not tell you that they was in a relationship. They thought that they didn't have to. They said that they didn't have to tell you that they were already in a relationship. This person is already in another connection. They were juggling. They were definitely juggling. Okay, so. Let's see how they feel about this third party. This other party that they're dealing with. Well, before that, let's take a look and see how they feel about you. Let's see how they feel about the collective. Express your love and separation. Playfulness and flirt. soulmate and reconciliation and true love 
So I feel like right now, this person does know that you have freed yourself from this situation. They freed you up. I feel like some type of them not being real with you is going to ultimately not go in their favor anyway. But they're going to be trying to call you back in. Okay, they're going to be trying to call you back in because we got soulmate, reconciliation, and true love. They're going to be trying to call you back in and reconcile with you at a later time. But currently, right now, it looks like they feel like everything's just supposed to be playful. We're just having fun, remember? Yeah, we're just supposed to be out flirting, having fun. Woo, woo, woo. They're making it seem like it's lighthearted to play with you like that. Y'all like the video if this resonates. So how do they feel about this other party that they're in a relationship with? How do they feel about this person that they're in a relationship with? Admired and numbing. So they both might drink a lot or they have some type of like little habit, smoke, or they do something like they're both on that same, they do the same thing. They have fun the same way. What else? The answer is no and surrender. So they aren't going to completely surrender to this other party. They're just settling for right now and being patient, but destruction is coming. And then they're going to play the victim when it's time. When it's time for it to fall apart, they're going to play the victim. Okay. Oh, refocus and bound. See, yeah. I feel like this masculine going to end up shifting his energy. Right now, he, um, he's in this devil energy, ego. Okay. And I'm feeling also feeling trapped as well. So, um, I feel like this masculine felt like he needed some time away from you. Like, y'all needed time from each other to reinvent y'all selves. He wanted to reinvent himself. He wanted to go through some changes himself. All right. Fresh start and recognition. And understanding. This masculine has started a family with this third party. Like, they either could have, A, she could have gotten pregnant, or this masculine has taken on, if she already has children, then this masculine has already taken on that part of the relationship. Dark night of the soul and mute. See, this karmic don't even really know who she, what she's dealing with, who she's dealing with, his type of energy that he actually carries because he's what, wearing a damn mask. So this masculine wanted a fresh start. This masculine wanted a fresh start because I feel like he's trying to get some understanding of how... It's something here about family. His family could be involved. His family may have wanted him to deal with this karmic. Tell me more about this family and third party. Oh, oh. Lessons. Grief. Yeah, this masculine getting ready to go through some type of crossroad and already is dealing with grief. He's getting ready to learn a karmic lesson with dealing with this third party and family i feel like family could be involved or he's playing a family man with this harmony we got inner child and compromise yeah so i feel like children could be involved like maybe they have children or He's over there playing stepdaddy to the karmic and her ch the karmic's children. Okay, so why is recognition here? Deception. Yep. This is his dark side. He's very deceptive in this connection. Because he's devoted to himself. Okay. He's devoted to himself and the material, what he can gain from the connection. So whatever he got to do to get what he want in this connection, he's willing to do it. Okay, why well, is Dark Knight of the Soul here? Action. 
All right, so the action that he's taking is very, very much so led by his ego. It is nothing genuine about it, okay? This masculine is just trying to get over something from his past, okay? He's trying to balance some things out. He could be trying to balance out his money, but definitely trying to purge and just do something different. I see he's getting ready to come with a new offer this spring towards Divine Feminine. We got new direction. So he's doing this. He's, it seems like he's getting his shit together so he can take a new direction when all of this is said and done and come bring this offer. So it's like he's the karmic is playing build a bag so he can fix himself up and bring this offer this spring to Divine Feminine. To his twin flame. Because mm -hmm. see, he's very, this masculine is very much so unawakened. And. This karmic, I mean, she's open and willing to it. But, hey, it is what it is. All right, so let me know if you guys are interested in booking a personal as well as check out the website, guys. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Like, share, and subscribe if you are new. Ciao.